GPT-3 is amazing. But how can you use it in your business or university? DataServe is a self-service portal, virtual agent and automation engine. It integrates with any system, simplifying access to information and services for your customers. Hi everyone, I am Matt from the DataServe product team. And I'm Amy, the DataServe virtual agent. In this video, Amy and I are going to demonstrate how you can use DataServe to bring the power of GPT-3 to your user community. But before we do that, you might be wondering what DataServe is. Well, it's simple. It's a no-code search engine, automation builder, and virtual agent that can be used by any organization with any system. Ordinarily, our customers use DataServe as the front ends to many systems and knowledge sources. So perhaps it sits on top of various service management and sales systems like ServiceNow, Remedy Force, Jira Service Desk, as well as systems like Salesforce, Pega, and Planon. And this provides users with a single web page to be able to create incidents, service requests, opportunities, and indeed any record they need to in those connected systems. DataServe also sits on top of knowledge bases and document repositories, such as SharePoint and Confluence. And this provides user communities with a single search engine to find anything they're looking for, such as self-help articles, company policies, news and events. And because large enterprises traditionally rely on many systems to conduct their business, this complicates self-service. DataServe simplifies access to information, raising self-service adoption and therefore reducing the strain on frontline teams. Now on to GPT-3. The use cases are pretty endless, but I'm going to focus on a few, mainly the ability to summarize, translate, and ask questions about documents and data. I'm going to start by searching for Microsoft Teams. Perhaps I'm looking for more information about how to use Microsoft Teams, or I'm looking to expand its capability within my organization. Let's see if DataServe is able to find any useful resources. Hey, Matt. I found this article. Click it or select an option below. And it has. The AI and machine learning model is recommending this article. And you can see below all the supported AI actions. Let's start by asking for a summary. Summarize. OK, here's a summary. This article suggests creating a team called Get to Know Teams to help early adopters learn how to use Microsoft Teams. The team should have a general channel for announcements. We can also ask for a simpler summary. Perhaps this is a topic which is new to me. OK, here's a simple summary. Create your first Teams and channels in Microsoft Teams. Asking a question about an article is a really useful way to get access to answers that might otherwise be hidden away within a large knowledge article. I want to ask a question. OK. What question do you have? How does the article recommend rolling out Teams? We recommend rolling out teams in stages, workload by workload, as your organization is ready. Here are the team's workloads, in the order we recommend rolling them out, chat, teams, channel. And what if the resource is written in English, but I want to read it in another language? Well, the translate feature has you covered. OK, what language do you want the article in? French. OK, here's a translated version. 
And finally, in addition to the summary examples we've seen previously, I can also ask for a summary in another language. OK, summarize in what language? Here's a summary in French. Créez vos premières équipes et canaux dans Microsoft Teams. Une équipe est une collection de... These are just a selection of some of the new AI features we've been adding to DataServe. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our roadmap and new features. <laughs>